Hello, everybody. Um, you'll notice that today we are in a bit of a different setting. Um, we're in my bathroom, and I am going to walk you guys through my morning routine. Um, this is a requested video, and I thought, let's change it up, make things a little more interesting by being in a new location. So, um, so to get started, um, I use a combination of like facial products as well as facial devices in the morning, um, if I have time. Sometimes I'll do it in the evening, but uh, more often than not, I'm using some sort of device. So I'm gonna walk you through the devices I use as well as the products I use. And I do change them up every now and again, um, but there are some staples that I tend to use, and I'll mention those as well. So to start off in the morning, the first thing I do is I use my Foreo um, to cleanse my face. Um, I, information about me, I have a quite sensitive skin. And so um, if my skin is really sensitive, I will just use water or like a, a micellar, micellar water um, to cleanse my face. So I'm not stripping anything off of my skin, like oils that I might need to heal. But um, more often than not, my skin's doing okay. So I use my Foreo and I use a foaming cleanser. So um, the Foreo doesn't really work with things that are like, harsh clay or have like little um like little uh abrasive like pieces in it so something that's like a scrub it won't work with that so i use something that's pretty bare bones um i'm using right now this shiseido clarifying cleansing foam for all skin types um honestly it's not really like the schmanciest uh cleanser by any means and I got it as a sample, but I have very sensitive skin and my skin hasn't reacted to that. So I think that that's a pro. And my face does feel really clean afterwards and I haven't had many breakouts at all. So um, all that stuff is really good. So that's the cleanser I'm using right now. If you've thought about getting it, worth giving it a shot. This is the Foreo Luna 2. Um, there are other more advanced Lunas out there now. This one is a few years old. Um, it works really well still and it does get, get the job done. It's not as soft as I would like it to be. Um, so I'm thinking about upgrading, but let me tell you a bit about this device. So the Foreo um, Luna 2 is a device that's used for cleansing. It has a silicone, it's kind of like a Clarisonic, if you haven't, if you don't know what this is already, because this has been around for a while, but it's kind of like Clarisonic, but it has silicone bristles rather than like fiber bristles. So it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, and uh, it lasts like forever. I've had it, again, had it for like three years. Um, basically, uh, what you do is you just turn it on, it vibrates, and um, as you rub this along your face, it gets in the pores, it shakes things out of your pores a little bit better with T-sonic pulsations. You can change the speed by pressing this plus button or the minus button. And then it also has a massaging feature, which you can see on the back, there are some ridges here. So if you pre when the second time you press it, it does a massage and you kind of like can move up your face and kind of do like a little bit of tension release and things like that. Um, more um, up to date ones cost I think around like 350 Canadian, um, but I will say that these last forever. And so if you are, if you've been looking for one, if you're in the market for one, I would keep an eye out for maybe some Boxing Day sales. They had a really good Black Friday sale recently um, and I was so tempted, but I didn't get anything. Um, just because I couldn't decide which one I wanted and then the sale was over and it was too late. But um, would highly recommend Foreo as a brand. They have great products. I have this of theirs. I have their UFO mini and I also have their um, microcurrent device, um, the Bear. So moving on to other devices I use and actually I'm gonna dip down here and pull some more out for you. I also use in the mornings this mask. Now it's new to me and I haven't been using it for too long. What I love about it is that rather than having to sit for 10 to 20 minutes with this mask on, it has a three minute um, cycle, which is just perfect because it's super quick and easy. And I, I just love that. So um, it has several different functions. So you can, when you turn it on, you can either press it and you'll get red light, blue light, which is actually a combination of blue and red. Um, or what you can do is on the app, you can actually uh, customize what you want. So let's say, so sometimes I'll do the blue and the red back to back just so I, you know, get full rounds of both lights. Um, but if I'm really in a rush, what I can do is I can pick, like, let's say I want anti-aging all up here, but maybe my chin's breaking out. So my chin, I can make blue and then the top part I can make red. And I just love that because 
I just, I just love it. it it's so quick. Um, and I'm going to do a full review on this when I have like real results, re results to show you. I've taken some before pictures. Um, I'm going to wait like about two months to give you some after pictures and we'll talk about this one in more depth. But so far I love it. Um, really easy, really comfy, like fits perfectly on like a average sized face. And um, yeah, you can just throw it into my morning routine and we're good. The next device that I will use again, if I have time, is the Foreo Bear. Um, this is a microcurrent device and basically you will put on a serum or a conductive gel. And again, like quick three minute, um, three minute process and you just kind of um, slide the balls the nod nodes, we'll call them, um, along your face to lift and tighten kind of like your muscles. So everything's held up nicely. Um, I'm sure you've heard about this before. I've been enjoying it so far. I will give you a more detailed review of this one as well. Maybe I'll do a, a video on like all my photo devices together. Um, so you can get a more in-depth review. So after all that is done and I do all that stuff before I put anything on my face, I will go in with my Fenty um, Fat Water Hydrating Milky Toner Essence. So I have really actually been liking this. Honestly, I'm not really sure why. I feel like it just adds a level of hydration to my skin that I, it's kind of like when you wash your face and it feels like a little bit dry and you just want to like get everything back in there. It kind of feels like it does that really well. Um, I put it on my face. Don't forget the neck. Always put things on your neck as well. And then whatever I have left with everything, I'll just put on the back of my hands. Um, two, and following that in the mornings, what I typically do is make like a little, a little cocktail. So I will take a vitamin C. Now this is the vitamin C I have currently. It's the, um, it's the Zo. I don't, I don't know what, how to say it exactly, but um, it's the Zo Skin Health. Uh, 10% vitamin C self-activating serum. So about this product, um, I feel like it's working. I mean, I feel like all Zo products work, but I will say it's a little bit grainy. I find the texture to be a little bit gritty when you put it on your face. Um, and it's also quite strong. And so sometimes I can get like little prickly feelings on my face when I use this. Makes me happy that it's working, but it also can be a little bit uncomfortable. So what I've been doing is I also got this really cheap, probably like under $10, Serum by The Ordinary. It's a res resveratrol 3% and a ferulic acid 3% um, product. And I just mix it together. Now I feel like this has a couple of things. One, it takes my more expensive vitamin C serum and it helps me to spread it a lot further. So I feel like it makes the vitamin C more spreadable and I'm getting kind of more bang for my buck. And I also really like the texture of it. It has more of like an oily kind of texture. So it makes the vitamin C feel less grainy and more smooth. And I do feel like these products, sorry, these products work well together. Um, and I would recommend that little serum as kind of like a cheap alternative or something to kind of add into your um, routine because it's just so inexpensive and I really feel like it works. Um, the next thing I do, I might add a hyaluronic. Today I will, just to kind of show you. Um, so this is the hyaluronic acid, the ordinary, um, sorry, hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 uh, by the ordinary. Again, relatively inexpensive. Probably, this is probably around like $16. I can't, I can't say for sure, but something around there. Not, not too crazy. Or maybe 18. Um, and just adds a nice hydration to the skin. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, I feel like I'm getting kind of like glowier and glowier, which is ideal, it's what we want. Okay, the next thing I will do, we're kind of honestly close to the end of the skincare stuff. Um, so I will add in a moisturizer. now. Please don't hate me for this moisturizer. I got it when I was getting married because I wanted like really schmancy, beautiful skin. Um, and so I splurged on this guy. It came in a, a set of two, like it came in a gift set. And I used my Sephora sale to get it, um, but it's very expensive. This is the Rich Cream. And again, like it really adds a nice glow. 
Um, if you have questions specifically about this, let me know. It is really beautiful. Is it like the end all be all, like the most amazing moisturizer I've ever experienced in my life? No, I mean, it's nice, but it's not, it's not, I don't think it's worth the money. I wouldn't buy it again, let's say that. Uh, it's not knocking my socks off, even though it feels good. And I think it's doing good things for my skin. There are other moisturizers that I have used that I feel like are totally fine. So a moisturizer that I would recommend instead of this one is the Youth to the People. Um, I believe it's a ashwagandha, is that right? Ashwagandha um, moisturizer. It's kind of like brown in a tub. I really like that one. That's going to be what I get to replace this one. Okay, so now that everything's sinking in, I actually sometimes like to take this device and use the massage function to really like let everything soak in. So I'm just gonna show you like a really quick little version of that. So again, first time you press it, it's gonna be the cleansing function. Second time, second time you press it will be the massage function. It's a little bit lower, more of like a rumble. And just glide it up along the muscles of the face that tend to hold tension. It's also very spa-like. You really feel like you're taking care of yourself, which I feel like is really important in your in your daily routine, right? If you do this first thing in the morning and you're taking care of yourself, you're telling yourself, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a positive self-talk. It's kind of like a, you know, I'm worth being taken care of. I'm, you know, it's a nice little feeling. So there's your little mental health tip of the day. Uh, <laughs> and so then the last piece of the morning routine before the makeup is sunscreen. So um, I recently uh, ran out of my sunscreen and I got this to replace it because I feel like it's a nice one to carry around with you. I'll probably get another one. And one that I really like is the SkinCeuticals. Um, I think it's called the SkinCeuticals Fusion Sunscreen. It's a 50 SPF. I'll be buying that one next. But this is one I was away and needed a replacement. And this one seemed cool. So this is the... Um, the Vichy um, Ideal, Ideal Soleil SPF 60 UVA UVB protection. And I'm just gonna go to town here. Make sure everything's covered. Is there any, if there's any product to go overkill with, it's sunscreen. So don't worry if you're putting on too much. Okay, now I just rub it in. And voila. So this is sort of, I think a kind of like, I'm kind of in like a temporary skincare routine place. I don't think this is gonna be my forever routine, uh, but it's been working for me so far. So hopefully you even curious about some of the products I mentioned. Um, hopefully this helped. Uh, I will make something similar about my nighttime routine. And that's kind of it, guys. Um, I don't really use an eye cream just because I don't feel like it's necessary, especially with just a schmancy um, moisturizer. I don't really need one. And yeah, that's kind of it. So um, if you have any questions about any of that, let me know in the comments. I always try to respond. Like, comment, subscribe if you would like. Let me know what you thought about being in my bathroom with me, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.